fear of God. So let's think about really fearing Him and not His punishment, what He can do to me if I don't behave properly, the way He says, etc. Or fear to my benefit. That means I don't want to be disconnected from Him through my sins, etc. So actually, being connected to Him is something good for me. So I'm not fearing Him because of Him, because of me. I want to benefit out of it, so I don't want to be disconnected, etc., etc. That's called fear of sin. So let's think about Him. So in order to have fear of Him, I'm going to use two ideas by our sages. Idea number one. Our sages say that, do you want to understand the greatness of God? So go understand His creation. What does that mean? He created all kinds of creatures in the world, inanimate objects, and then he created plants, and then he created animals, and then he created human beings, and within all his creation, the whole universe, etc., by really going deep into understanding the creation, by thinking about it, etc., etc., that gives you an idea of his greatness. However, here comes the second idea by our sages. Our sages say that God created the whole world with just one letter, letter He in Hebrew. And the world to come was created by one letter, letter Yud. Now, let's combine over here. We say that the greatness of God, that's the creation that shows His greatness. But wait a second, the whole creation is just one letter. He used just one letter to create the whole thing that we see around us, etc., etc. And that goes another idea of our sages. In the place where you find his greatness, that's where you find his humility. He's actually humble by creating this whole thing. So wait a second. Now, what do we have? We have understanding of his creation. We have understanding of his greatness. But even so, his greatness is actually nothing compared to him. It's just one letter of his power, so to speak, to create. So what do we get out of this thinking? We get a thinking of, wow, if the whole creation is just really insignificant in front of him, so I should really fear him. It's a fear that generates in the, in the person a sense of awe. The greatness of God compared to myself is, wow, he's so great. So you start fearing actually him. But there's more to it. So stay tuned because there's another level.